This video is a Socrative tutorial. Socrative is one of the teacher's online tools. It is basically an online tool for creating quizzes and there are many quiz tools available but Socrative has some unique features such as live reporting and gamification feature which is called space race in Socrative which is quite interesting and very useful during an online teaching session. And the good thing about Socrative tool is that in the free version you get almost all the main features. As you can see that all these features are available in their free plan. There are only few features which are not available but you can do a lot without these features. In this Socrative tutorial I will show you how you can create and launch an online quiz, how students can log in and take that quiz. And if I get time, I will show you the space race feature as well. Otherwise, I will make a separate video for that because I don't want this video to be very long. So let's get started after a short break. So I'm going to log into my Socrative account and I click on teachers login. And this is my dashboard as a teacher. And before I start, if this is your first time, my name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. On this dashboard, there are few tabs. We are currently in the launch tab, but first we have to create a quiz. So for that, we have to click on this quizzes tab. Then there are rooms, reports and result tabs. In the center of your dashboard, you have a number. This is the number your students will use to log in to Socrative and to take a quiz. Then you have profile. On the right hand side, you can set your profile in this area or you can sign out. Then we have three icons here quiz, space race and exit tickets. And then there are three quick questions you can create here. Multiple choice, true, false and short answer questions. But we are going to create a quiz. Therefore, I click on this quizzes tab and this is one quiz you will get by default when you create a new Socrative teacher account. And this is the only quiz in my account at the moment. If you have a long list, you can search by typing the name of the quiz in this search bar. But I click on add quiz and I click create new and I give it a name because this is just uh, an example. And then now I have the ability to add any type of question. So let us first create a multiple choice question. So I click on that question number one and I start typing here. I have the ability to create math expressions, insert functions. I can also insert an image. I can also make my text bold, italic or underlined. But my question is simple. The capital of Australia is and then I type my answers. And this is the correct answer. So I tick on this and then I want to add a true false question and I type my question. And true is the answer. And let's add another question. This time short answer question. And now I type the question and then I type the correct answer. There could be few questions for which multiple correct answers are acceptable and you can type those answers in these uh, fields. For example, I can say that Fraser is also acceptable. So let us keep this quiz simple. So we have only three questions and now I click on save and exit. And now this is my newly created quiz and now if I want to launch this quiz, I click on this launch and then quiz and then check this Australia and click next. Now in this dialog box, you have to select the delivery method. And there are three types of delivery methods. Instant feedback, if you click on this I, you will get further information about this delivery method. Now in this method, student answer questions in order. So they have to answer first, question first, and then second question and so on. And you will be monitoring the progress. Then there is open navigation, where student can answer questions in any order. They can navigate through the quiz, they can have a look at the questions, and then they can start answering and they can change the answer as well. And you monitor the progress in the form of a table. 
then there is a teacher paste option in which for example if you are taking an online session and you want to control the flow of question you want to put the question number one student answer the question and when you are ready you want to proceed to the second question so this is called teacher paste quiz and these are some of the options which are very useful and not available in many other online quiz tools so therefore socrative has some unique features let us select the instant feedback and now the application will suggest you few toggle switches positions for example it suggests that you should require names and you should show the question feedback to your students but if you don't want to do that you want to reuse the quiz or something like that you can toggle this off and if you want to show the final score you can toggle this switch as well and then I click on start it will show me starting activity and now it will show me my reporting dashboard where I will be able to see the progress but there is no student at the moment so I will open a new browser and I will log into my room as a student and now from another browser I type Socrative in Google and now I click student login so I type here and click join and because I wanted students to put their names so it is asking me to put my name so I put my name as Tahir student and click done now I will see my first question as a student and let's say I click the correct answer and I click submit answer and it is showing me that my answer is correct and now this is my reporting dashboard and I can see that this student has got 33% of the quiz mark and he has submitted one correct answer. Now as a student I click OK and the second question will be presented to me and let's say I click false and submit my answer it shows me my answer was incorrect and the correct answer was true in my teachers dashboard I get the reporting that this student has done question number two false now again I click on this ok and let's say I put Fraser as my answer to third question and I submit my answer it will show me that there were two possible answers and my answer is also correct now I click ok and it will show me that quiz has finished and I got 67% mark and my score is 2 out of 3 and I click OK and it will show me that I have completed this activity and now I am waiting for the next activity. So as you have seen that it is very easy to take quizzes on Socrative. Students don't have to put any credentials other than your room number when they are logging in. And if you don't want them to put even their names, you can give them instructions with some numbers as roll numbers or enrollment number or something like that. And they can put that instead of their names. And now this is my dashboard where I can see the progress of the student. And if I want to finish this activity, I can click this finish. It will ask me to confirm and I click again. And now this is my final report. And in this report, I can see that first question was answered by 100% of the students because I had only one student. So one is 100% of one. And the second question was answered by 0% of students and so on. So you can say that this is your summary report of all of your quiz. So if you have 20 questions, it will show you which question was answered by how many percent of your students. There are few toggle switches you can turn these toggle switches on and off to see the name of the student and their responses as well you can export this report if i click on export i can export in many ways complete a result in excel format individual students pdfs result summary pdf answer key as a pdf i can download as well i can email to myself and i can save to my google drive so these features are very handy, very useful for online teachers and this is not a sponsored video by Socrative but I highly recommend that you use this application and the way this application is designed is a perfect way to take quiz, to create reports and to send reports to the parents of your students. So this is it about this Socrative tutorial in which you learned how to create and launch a quiz and how students can do the quiz. And in the next video, I will show you the space race feature in Socrative, which is a very simple gamification and would be very interesting for your students.
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ सो प्लीज गिव इट अ थम्स अप थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम